Hey everyone, this is Janessa with Bloom and I See Journal. And I know this is like super informal. I usually have like the lights and the backdrop, but I just wanted to make a quick video. I'm about to um, switch to a video with Pastor MJ and his youth group, Utre, over at the Center of Manifestations in Tampa. And it was an amazing discussion. I'm getting footage, you know, collecting footage, whatever you want to say, on um, MJ because I'm doing an interview with him, um, you know, sometime soon. And I wasn't going to share anything, but these kids, like, I just really, really want to share the hearts of these, these kids. Like, these kids were probably ninth and 10th graders, and they were able to have an adult discussion about what's going on in our nation today. So I just want to just share it with everyone, but I really feel like um, we're in a state of emergency. Not, like, our nation as a whole, but our nation as African Americans. We are in trouble. Not that we haven't been before, but now it's just it's just different. It's just this is you know, this is this is just too much. Because the time that we're about to go into is not going to be friendly. Um so I, that's all I'll say on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. <laughs> Exactly. See, first of all, listen, listen, listen. I'm trying to talk about someone tonight. 
about like what are your rights. You guys do know that the police have to establish why they're detaining you before they can just put you in handcuffs and detain you. You guys do know that, right? And you do know there's a difference between being detained by the police and being arrested by the police. Do y'all know that? No. The police can detain you, put you in handcuffs, but that does not mean you are arrested. When you are arrested, and if you are arrested, that's why I love, if you ever see a video of someone getting detained, they'll ask, am I under arrest? And if the cop does not say yes, this person can tell them, then take me out of these handcuffs, I am going to leave. Until the cop says you are under arrest, then you are supposed to, you know, you're just detained. But detained, if you don't know that, it gets very rare. So, the guy is getting apprehended by the police. He does not know why. He never does why, and there are people observing this. So, they tase him. They tase him. And once he's tased, he gets tackled and brought to the ground. Once he gets brought to the ground, he's laying on his back. This is what you're here for in your relationship with God. And that's what I want to really resolve all this at, is that we are living in a country where the color of your skin will want to be a barrier for you from being great. But I want to encourage you tonight that whatever is your dream, whatever is your dream, do not allow for yourself to be stopped simply because of the color of your skin, but continue to trust God. This is what I feel as though I need to tell you guys tonight, though. Have a relationship with God and the glass ceilings will not exist for you. The reason that why all of these things happened and I was disconnected for a very long time is because I was taught to respect authority. I lived in neighborhoods where the police would not have necessarily pulled me over. When my dad was driving the, the, um, that black Bentley coupe, he never had problems in our neighborhood driving that car. But whenever he came into the hood, he would get pulled over and stopped. And one time was even asked, how can you afford to drive a car like this? Because oh. so black males are seen as individuals who can only obtain wealth by stealing or bouncing a ball. Mm -hmm. Or catching. Doing drops. Okay? So the point that I'm making for you guys tonight is having, having a relationship with God is going to allow for you to break through every glass ceiling that is ever put before you. We talked about it earlier that I want you guys to make sure that you're sharing the truth about Jesus with people. Yeah. And you are telling your peers that there is a heaven and there is a hell. And that if they believing in Jesus Christ is the only way to get there. And having a relationship with him will better their life. Because how do you know that the person you sit in class <laughs> with will not be the one that goes out to the pool party and, the one who and gets apprehended by the cops and is shot? Trayvon Martin could be your classmate. The same story all over again. Tamir Rice is your little cousin in the park playing with a BB gun and gets shot by the police for playing with a BB gun in the park. 